NRC event notification reports for February 12th and February 19th, 2013. Turkey Point nuclear plant in Florida seems to be having trouble this month. First, on February 11th, 2013 there was an automatic reactor shutdown due to turbine trip on loss of condenser vacuum. Then on February 18, 2013 Unit 3 was manually shut down again due to high seal leak off on reactor kill and pump 3A. Turkey Point Nuclear Generating Station is a twin reactor nuclear power station located in Florida, next to Biscayne National Park which is about 25 miles south of Miami, Florida. Turkey Point is owned and operated by Florida Power and Light including the two nuclear plants. Turkey Point operates five power generating units. It comprises two oil and natural gas fire generation units units 1 and 2, and two nuclear Westinghouse pressurized water reactors units 3 and 4, each supplying steam to one high pressure and two low pressure turbines. In 2007 it added the combined cycle gas fired unit 5. In 2002 the NRC extended the operating licenses for both nuclear reactors from 40 years to 60 years. In 2006 Florida Power and Light informed the NRC that they planned to apply for new units to be built at Turkey Point. Florida Power and Light also plans to spend about $1,500,000,000 to increase the capacity of its Existing four reactors at Turkey Point and the St. Lucie Nuclear Power Plant. In 2009 Florida, Power and Light submitted a combined construction and operating license application for two new, untested, and highly dangerous Westinghouse AP-1000 reactors which have numerous design flaws. Units 6 and 7, construction was expected to begin in 2012 with the new units going online in 2017 and 2019. Florida Power and Light estimates the total project cost at $12,100,000,000 to $17,800,000,000. NRC Event Notification Report for February 12, 2013. On February 11, 2013, Unit 3 experienced a loss of condenser vacuum. An automatic turbine trip signal was generated which initiated a reactor trip signal. The reactor shutdown is required on the automatic trip signal. Auxiliary feed water water actuated automatically based on low steam generator levels following the trip. The loss of vacuum was under investigation at the time. All control rods were fully inserted. The main condenser for some reason was unavailable and decay heat removal was to atmosphere via the atmospheric steam dumps. There were no indications of primary to secondary leakage. Otherwise, apparently, they would have been dumping radioactive steam into the atmosphere. NRC event notification report for February 19, 2013. On February 18, 2013, Unit and 3 again commenced a unit shutdown due to high number 1 seal leak off on the 3A reactor coolant pump, which exceeded operating limits. Unit 3 reactor was manually shut down. Auxiliary feed water actuated as designed based on steam generator levels as a result of the trip. Unit 3 was in hot shutdown and stable. The seal leak off, as always, is under investigation. All control rods were again fully inserted on the trip. Decay heat was removed by auxiliary feed water to the steam generators at the atmospheric reliefs. Hopefully there was indeed no primary to secondary leakage. Electrical buses were being supplied via off-site power.